technically it is morning. We're two minutes away from noon. I'm about to go to another meeting. Um, just getting some dough ready to proof while I work and Sarah's hanging out with the kids and, and working her, her, her life. Um, it's Friday Eve and I'm excited. I have like an HR lesson going on in my ear right now as I prep this, trying to multitask. Um, and it's almost the weekend. Almost nap time for you. How are you? Good. Another crazy day for me at work, kinda. Yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh. We got the town home. We did? For real? We have to. I mean, it's not technically ours until we get. And this is kind of stressful. We have. It's not taken off the market and considered ours until we give them a holding deposit, cashier's check to their oh. office in Orlando. So we have to figure out that piece logistically if, if we can have one of our lovely friends or somebody we it sounds like we might have to I don't know if we can get a money order sent to them for them to pull or if we give them money and they pull it but yeah. we need to have a money order or a cashier's check given to the office until once that happens but we got approved wow how do you feel how do you feel it's too raw I need to stop recording so I can look at the email again and freak out a little bit more oh gosh it's the most magical celebration and special All right, we've got the 50th anniversary edition of the Resort Must Do Disney TV loop playing on our TV. It like still feels surreal. Um, so it's like 95% certain, I would say right now. We are approved for the unit, the townhome. Um, I think it's three, two and a half bath. Um, they wanted, it's not considered like officially ours until we get a holding deposit over to their office, uh, which is in downtown Orlando. And I just called the office being like, hey, I'm in Chicago, that's a little bit hard. Obviously I can mail it to you, but like, I don't want to like potentially lose it if it's in limbo of like me pulling a cashier's check from our bank and sending it to them via mail. So they're like, all right, let, let, let us call the property manager and property owner and see if there's a different way that we can manage that. So I'm waiting for a call back. And then it'll feel so real. So, with our good news today, we are celebrating and we're breaking all the rules. And that means we are getting a treat. We are getting Lucky's Sandwich Company, which I don't think we've ever shown on the vlog before. They were actually, there's one on a really close to UIC's campus. I think it's, I don't think it's actually there anymore. On Halsted. Um, and they were actually a sponsor of the UIC Flames, our college, during like my time in school. Um, I, we ate there a decent amount in college, but there's one by Wrigley too. And so, I got two sandwiches. Their gimmick is that it's like a sandwich with fries and coleslaw all on the sandwich with the meat. So we're gonna enjoy that as like, well, we realized, we, like, we were like, let's look for something in the neighborhood we haven't had in a while. And we saw that and we're like, oh my gosh, I don't think we've had that since we've lived over here. Um, so me and James are gonna go pick it up because it's just a short stroll away. doing some renovations here. Also, apparently, I've seen Mr. Beast Burger on like our food delivery app before, um, but I guess this is where you pick it up.
Well, we just had a chaotic hour. <laughs> I actually didn't really vlog much while I was out. Like I did and then I had to stop because James fell asleep in the cart, which is never fun because there's like no support. And the bag was big because if you saw the sandwich is a massive. Um, and so I had that and then Peter, when I got home was in a meeting, I took Teddy, but then I actually had a consultation with a gastric doctor. Um, because of our family history, I, um, want to get like early screening so much with the cancer that that my mom had um, and passed away from was stomach cancer the key thing with it is getting it caught early and so because of our family history like I said um, I want to be checked up as often as I can to make sure that what happened to her it does not happen to me um, and so obviously I qualify for a screening so I'll have an endoscopy and a colonoscopy before we moved to Florida. Nice. Yeah, so they said that they schedule them pretty quickly. Um, so like four weeks-ish. Great. So, yeah. The doctor was nice, easy peasy. It didn't make me go into much detail about my mom, which was nice because I didn't have to like, you know, relive all those dates and times and whatever. They just asked her age and when it happened. So, <sighs> we're going to eat our sandwiches. I actually already ate. So one of them. Did you split them? Yes. Great. One of them is called a Fredo. It's ridiculous. So it's like Godfather Fredo, where it's like we Italian meat. I love that. And then, oh, nice technique. And then the other one is called a two bagger, I think, and it's pastrami and corned beef. So we're getting ready for St. Patty's Day. <laughs> He's got the sweetest little squinty face. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. Huh? Uh, <laughs> I think he looks like Peter when Peter was a baby. There's a picture on their wall when. Like, oh yes, my baby. <laughs> on the wall of his parents' house when we were in high school. That I feel like has that same squinty smile, that toothy grin. a loaf of bread we baked today. We put it in our Dutch oven. I'm about to stew a Dutch oven, not like the stuffing pampered chef piece we were using before, so it's a little lower. Not as raise, risen, but looks very delicious. I like the coloring on this one. I'm gonna try this garlic spread that Sarah got from Trader Joe's. Not Trader Joe's. Mariano's. This is what the bread's looking like on the inside. Looks good, smells good. I'm gonna get some garlic spread on it and snack on it. I'm gonna take a little bite for Teddy. What's going on? Madness. We're celebrating. Woo -hoo. We just learned <sighs> that charities will get bibs for the Disneyland Run Disney races. Buzz off, cancer. ACS. ACS is getting some amount. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we're going to Disneyland. ACS is getting a certain set amount, probably far less than what they get in Disney World because it's going to be a smaller race for Disneyland. What do you think? Also, if you're wondering what happened to poor Teddy's face, it's that he likes to do this everywhere and everywhere. And he, I know, he's so strong and sturdy, but sometimes he falls down. And that happened, right? It looks worse, looks worse than it is, but it's still so sad for the boy to be having scratches on his face like that. Wow, thank you for that. Also, my holiday Peloton ride was awesome. Robin is my favorite instructor. And I was thinking if, so like I've been trying to like be active each day and she talked about in that ride, like last December, they did a 30 minute for 31 days like challenge type thing. And I was thinking what if we just did like 30 minutes for 30 days, anyone who wants to do it, we can make a group on some sort of social media, maybe, I don't know, maybe a Facebook group that probably worked the best. But anyway, just to like post what you did, hold each other accountable, and like share what you've done to just like 
document it? I don't know, it, like comment below if you'd be interested in that because I could get a group started and then we can like just be there for each other. The Chicago Diner, as dinery as you could ever get and you would not imagine that they've been meat free since 83 or 93. They've been doing it since before it was cool. James and I, take a little stroll over to the 7-Eleven, getting some celeb celebratory pops for the big day. We got ACS announcement and a potential town hall. Ooh, we got the town hall. I keep saying potential because it's like 95% certain. We just don't have it technically secured, but it's feeling good. So weirdly enough with there being an ACS announcement tonight, every time I want to vlog, do you want Teddy to steal my thunder? He's a big kid. He's a big kid in a big old city. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. He looks like Pugsley Adams in that shirt. He does. Um, but speaking of ACS, and this is just a ACS neighbor story, our wonderful best friend, Jenna, who we met through ACS, but she's just a perfect human being in our life. Does not work for ACS. We told you guys this. We told it's not new news unless you missed that vlog. It's not new news. It's been a couple what months now. She works for Love Your Melon, and um, because we always like to promote our friends and our family, also Disney. This is the first official piece of merchandise, I guess you could call it, that the Brookharts own. That is about the hundredth anniversary. No, one of our towels. One of our oh, towels. yeah, one of our seven. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I didn't get that one. So okay. you're right, you're right, you're right. One of the hundred towels we bought last trip aren't, we almost bought a hundred anniversary. We didn't. So this is officially the first piece of 100th anniversary edition, the Walt Disney Company merch. I'm going to open it. It's one hat that we're all going to share because Sarah, me, Teddy, James, we all have big noggins. I literally wore one of Teddy's winter hats the other day. All right, here we go. We got the... Uh, Disney Cross Love Your Melon. Look at it on the back here. Boom, 100. And this is the hat. Yes. I love it. It's got this little cool thing. Does that stay on? Is that a pin? I wonder if you could take that off right if that's permanent. It's so cool. So nice. Yes. Ooh, it's late and I don't. We have not been up doing the routine. The routine. Um, James actually took a bit to fall asleep and we were planning on doing a live stream at 10 p.m. hoping both kids were asleep. Um, I started at nine o'clock trying to put James down and Sarah came in at 10 and was like, what do we do? Teddy's asleep, but what if he wakes up and you're in here? Like, do we just postpone it, do we not? So we decided that we were gonna postpone the live stream and Sarah was gonna go live on Instagram because that's you know not as much of a commitment. She could just bail on it if Teddy woke up. Well, what do I discover when I came out like around 10.20 when James finally fell asleep? Sarah on the YouTube doing the live stream. Um, so that ended up, I, I hopped in there to join Sarah doing that and that was a lot of fun. Um, but now it's like 11.40, we have visitors coming in the morning and I have work tomorrow and Sarah's got a dentist appointment. Um, so we kind of got to figure out what we're going to do tonight to get ready for our visitors in the morning and tomorrow morning. Um, but the live stream was good. I uh, miss doing live streams. Just the, the chit chat, the comments, the hearing from you guys, you guys hearing from us. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, and tomorrow's Friday. And now that like, hopefully we hear some news and we actually like really solidify securing this townhome rental tomorrow. Um, so that it's like 110% positive that it's ours and like pulled off the market. Um, but that really makes it feel extra real. Like that, that reality starting to set in for me. And like, we have a lot to do because we have a lot of, to pack. We have a lot of like then visits to start planning of like this people we need to see before we leave, even though we're going to be back in like three months. And then, um, also figuring out the logistics. So like that all, it like feels very real. And then then we only have like a f so many weekends i'm going to be in texas for one of the weekends and then st patrick's day festivities in the city so like we don't have a lot of free weekends so the reality of how important weekends have become just now came into my mind i feel like i also said the word weekend a lot just now anyway 
I have to go talk to Sarah about what our game plan is. We're going to bed and waking up early to get this out of the place ready. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Pray for us that we wake up. Good morning, everybody. We're so glad you're here with Daily Vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, why don't you come back, subscribe, hang out with us, become our pals. Warning, sometimes we make become best friends. It's happened to a few of you guys. Um, it's Friday. It's a beautiful day out. This is the this is the trickery of Chicago. I brought the garbage out. I was like, oh my god, it's a phenomenal day. I should go for a run, like get really get back into the running again, start that off. It's gorgeous out, and uh, they call this full spring. I think we talked about it the other day, but this is a little cooler than full spring in Chicago, the Midwest, because it's 30 degrees out. But because it's so beautiful, there's not a cloud in the sky, and I can actually see blue skies, which for Chicago, you know, goes away for like four months in the year. Um, that's what's making it feel like spring. So I'm walking over to a wonderful place called Ann Sather's for some of very famous Chicago cinnamon rolls. Our friends Lauren and Lucy are visiting and I'm in between some meetings right now. Um, realizing I'm getting these cinnamon rolls before Sarah goes to the dentist, but good life choice. Does it not look like a gorgeous day? Does it not? That with Sarah's and mine's very first apartment right there. That wasn't painted there on the building and uh, during the month of March, it's Disney bound challenge month, whatever that's called. And every morning in the in the cold, I had to take a photo of Sarah in a new Disney bound. It was our, that was our door right there. A little one bedroom with a fireplace, it was gorgeous. And that's when we fell in love with Ann Sathers. Go to the bar, you get a book. Ann Sathers, delicious. Famous for its cinnamon rolls and all of its breakfast. Ah, look at it out. Oh, he got a bow? Yeah. We're having a, a cinnamon roll PJ party with our friends this morning. Yeah. She's very she busy. She needs to cook. So I left her friends. They, um, Lucy and Lauren, decided to come over last night. And so I was like, I do have a dentist appointment. So they're hanging out with the boys for a little bit. They may or may not be there when I get back because I'm actually having another crown situated on my mouth. Um, I did get a second opinion and I do just like truly want to take the best care of my teeth. I feel like before we leave, we're actually like checking a lot of boxes with our health. Um, we're probably going to keep most of our doctors in Chicago. Um, just because we've kind of been established here, we like who we like and all of that. And um, so yeah, it's it's kind of, it's different in a big city, as at least I feel the care is. Um, we that's what we prefer. That's what we prefer after living there and living here. So um, I'm headed in, in there now. And I feel like the last time I walked here, it was like 10 degrees, and today it's 37, and it just feels. This is glorious. Well, sometime on a Friday afternoon, you need an Italian bread party. We got olive oil, balsamic vinaigrette, some seasonings, and homemade bread. That's a good time, right? Yes. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Adventurous. Hey girl. Walk with it. It's just okay. There you go. Our day has quickly come to dinner time. Um, Lucy and Lauren stayed until like nap time for the kids, and James took a three-hour nap. Um, and like I said, we're just still like comfy cozy. Kids are in their jammies. I am going to make some pasta for dinner, a new recipe that I saw online. I'm gonna make like crumble tofu um, that like mimics the taste of bacon with Brussels sprouts and peppers and onions in like a garlicky, creamy sauce. Um, so I'm sort of winging the recipe, but I'm also following something I found online. Um, so follow along if you're interested. The day was really nice with them. Um, honestly, it was just like if the kids were playing at home, but just playing together. It's so fun. Like Lucy and James being this age is just great. They're just goofy. Um, 
and Teddy had a lot of fun too because he's he's always down for a good time. So it was a really last minute visit and so my heart is just full today that that got to happen. Um, but now we are hungry so I'm gonna get to cooking and yeah, it's the weekend. It feels good. My tofu is in there. We're um, pressing it to get as much moisture out as possible. So I'm gonna go off just by what I have to make these tofu bacon bites. This is like maybe a third of a cup of nutritional yeast, two tablespoons of soy sauce, a teaspoon and a half of smoked paprika, a good shake of liquid smoke. In typical Sarah fashion, I don't have the right ingredients. I thought we had syrup and we don't. So I'm gonna use honey, but I bet you'd be better with maple syrup. All right, I'm using my toaster as a tripod and I'm just gonna crumble the tofu overneath, overneath over this mixture um, and then get it nice and coated and then I have the oven um, preheating that's a nasty sound um, I have the, the oven preheating to 450 and I'm gonna get this on a baking sheet um, to start getting it baked and I'm gonna add some Brussels sprouts to it after it bakes for a little bit. Thinking the color was off and I realized it was because I did not add in, oh my gosh, my spoon fell, um, my tomato paste. So like a little tablespoon and a half of tomato paste. Um, all right, so I'm gonna get that mixed up and on the baking sheet. Alrighty, I added some parchment paper to the pan. I've never done this before. So this is just like a trial and see how it goes. Um, so I'm gonna pop it in the oven and prep the rest of the pasta. I just chopped up two red peppers and an onion. It's going in some avocado oil. Salt, pepper, garlic on those. I'm also gonna add a bit of vegetable broth. I really want those to like cook low and slow so that they're like a part of the pasta sauce. The other veggies that I'm about to um, chop up that are going along with the baked tofu bacon, those are kind of like a topper or it could be a side. I'll probably put it on top, but this way this is kind of, like this is more of the sauce, that red pepper, oniony flavor. So I have this very big rustic chop going on. Just, just feel like that would go good with this rigatoni. And I had to add tomato, so there's also tomato in there. So that's just gonna cook away. I got a little sous chef with me who's wearing light up cracks. I forgot to show that I had put Brussels sprouts and zucchini in the oven to bake. Um, I decided to do it on its own instead of with the tofu bacon just in case I want one to cook longer than the other because the tofu is kind of like already looking pretty dark. So um, yeah, I just put olive oil, a little balsamic vinegar, salt, pepper, garlic on those. Um, eventually they will be mixed with the bacon but I just have them baking separately. My pasta is all done and so now I'm going to tackle the sauce except for I messed up because I was going to do like a roux and use the pasta water to thin it out, but I accidentally drained all of the pasta. So I'm going to figure out what to do because I don't have a sa like more of a savory plant-based milk on hand. So the main sauce ingredient here is this garlic spread that we got from Mariano's. It is margarine based, so it is plant based, but you could use real butter. And then obviously a ton of garlic, onion powder, and parsley is in there. So if you want to recreate it, that's that's what I would do. That's what I would throw in there too. Alrighty, so I added a little bit of flour. I'm not gonna do like a ton. I just want it to be a little bit creamy. And I am gonna use some soy milk. So maybe a little, it might be a little sweet. But sometimes you add sugar to your to your pasta sauce, so I might add a little bit more flour after that. The milk is in. I'm gonna add some more. I'm just gonna stir it until it's the consistency I want. I bump down the temperature, and this will be our sauce. No, 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 no. No what? No. You want some more strawberries? No. All right, so I'm pretty bummed. It's it's too it's not too sweet. It's just. Not what I had envisioned. So if I were you, use milk that you know isn't gonna give some sweetness to it. I did add in a lot of garlic, um, as well as some parsley, just like to get it a little bit more savory, a little bit more salt. Usually I would be able to add nutritional yeast, but I used the last of it on the tofu. 
So it's a little sweeter of a sauce. It's still gonna be yummy. Um, just not what I had um, expected it to be. Okay, tofu bacon is out. Brussels sprouts and zucchini are out. I'm gonna mix these together and pop it in just for a little while longer. Um, so that it can be nice, nice temperature all mixed. Here is the final product. I'm hoping that the tofu and the Brussels sprouts add to savoriness, um, but it does taste yummy. What'd you say to me? What'd you say to me, Mr. Kiki Legs? How did it get so late? It's after midnight. It's good to be home. I love when I surprise Sarah with it. <laughs> it is good to be home. This was the result of a late, long nap for James Ryan Burkhart. It's the weekend. It's the weekend. And we're going to have so much fun. It's going to be in the 40s. Ooh, let's go. It's going to be home. Goodbye. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting.